Okay, let's talk about hair. Quick sketch, all right, hairline. In an earlier video, we talked about hairlines, but here's the hairline again. And then what you wanna do is you wanna kind of think about the hair almost like ribbons, right? So you've got, here's what, here's a typical haircut. You take all the hair from up here See, here's all this hair. Let's take all this hair and we're going to stand it on end. All the hair from up here stays one length, right? And if I take all of this hair and I, and I pass it this way, what you'll end up with is this hair will, this one here will, let's take that one first. It would drop down to about there, right? It would drop down and sit in here about like that. And then all of these hairs would come over it and sit about like that, kind of layering over it, right? And then these hairs would layer down and kind of sit over it like that. So it's gradually widening. And then as you work this way, so there's two, this is gradually widening. There's a contour line that's passing this way Okay, until you get to here, at which point, so now these hairs might be coming down this way and going that way, and now these guys are going to start going this way over and when they hit the side of the head, curling back too. So you end up with, and here's the split. And these hairs here are hairs that came out from this part of the head and turned downwards this way, right? And fell across the face here, like this. Okay, so this is a really standard kind of boy haircut. And in the outline, the shape, so you're gonna wanna, this is, these are individual pieces of hair that are going, I'm sorry about my dog. These are individual pieces of hair here. You want to suggest, you want to suggest this cross contour without overstating it, right? And here, this hair comes up and down and over this way, okay? So that's one kind of hair. Here is another kind of hair. Let's say, oh, yeah, yeah, at least. Let's say that this hair is going to be long hair. Sorry about that chin. Very broad chin. Let's say that this hair is going to be long hair, okay? And here's an idea. So the hair now is going to be coming from here and everywhere, but what it's going to be doing is it's going to be falling. It's just coming over and falling, right? And gravity is just taking it. And then when it gets to, here's the neck. When it gets to the neck, it's going to take the shape of the neck and come down further. So here, this hair comes down this way. When it gets to the ear, it curls around the front of the ear, and it curls around the back of the ear, 
and it makes its way down and it falls across the body like that. Okay, and now you could take the hair from up here and it might be pushed over like that. And now we'd have a broadening through here, okay? Because this hair has come across and it's being held back by the ear. And you could take hair from over here and push it back across the ear too. Okay, so let's go here. Here's head and profile, ear, neck. And what we just did was we took hair and wrapped it around the ear and dropped it like that. Okay, and you end up with this really nice shape like that. And the hair from over here comes over, it curls in, it comes over, and it will part around the back of the neck. Okay. And so the back of the neck here okay that's another thing that can happen with hair um, so notice this line it's a cross contour line. This line, it's a cross contour line. The part of the hair, notice how if we have a head shape, here's a head shape, and if I put in a part where I think is the top, the exact top of the head, I can use the part of the hair to orient the drawing. Like I could be like, okay, here's the part of the hair. Now I take the hair and turn it. Like here, I'm going to ribbon it over this way. I want to deal with it as though it's a ribbon doing that and curling around the head and turning around that way. Okay, here's a little bit of hair going up and over and curling around that way. Okay, you see how I've turned this head downwards? Notice me taking the cross contour line from there. Guy has like Joker face. Okay. This person's having a bad hair day. All right, so let's see. What else can we do with hair? Um, so the main ideas are pay attention to gravity. Pay attention to where it connects. Pay attention to how it layers. Like you see how this hair is layering over, how it layers. Pay attention to the effect of ribboning hair. Um, ribbons, like you can take a head, you could be like, okay, here's a head. And a uh, really funny kind of alien head. And you could take hair and connect it from here in a line that goes all the way back and across like this. And this line can come up and over and down in a ribbon, okay? And this is a ribbon that goes up and over and down and it shapes itself like this and up and over and down and it's wrapped itself around the head. It's a single ribbon. And its intervention is the ear right here. and. You know, so at that point, it starts curling that way, and it starts curling this way. And here's a volume of hair. And you could do another one.
coming up and over and down and ending here. It's a different ribbon. And look at the way we were seeing in underneath that other ribbon and up and over and down and it's wrapping its way around and over here it's layering over. You have another ribbon right there layering over that earlier one and you're seeing like little side planes in and out of it and, and another one and it's got that kind of thickness and it comes up and here's some thickness to that ribbon. And I'm going to see side planes of parts of the ribbon now as it moves over and down. And now here's a ribbon that's going the other direction and coming out. I can see the side underside of it right there. And it's making its way back, OK? So you kind of should be able to have some fun with hair drawings, OK? Anyway, all right. Hair. Oh, last thing I want to say. Let the hair have volume, okay? So um, hair has, like, by volume, what I'm trying to say is if you take a drawing of a face like this and you have the hair be like these single strings, I mean, you can do that, but hair just isn't, isn't really like that. Really, there's this big distance between the top of the head, the scalp, and the hair. And you can have a lot of hair, and it's going to show the shape of the ear underneath it. Um, you want to really let the hair have a thickness in and of itself, okay? And these, like, stringy hairlines, they're not... They're not what we dig. They're not the kind of drawing that, that makes, they're not, they're not really, it's not exciting draftsmanship. Um, yeah, I have even seen drawings like this that I think are really super cool. So you have a, a face structure and then on top of the face, someone will take and pile up a whole whole great pile of hair. It looks kind of Victorian, really. But they've got this like, great pile of hair piled, like, just stacked on top of, on top of a shape like this. Um, and if they set up... an underplane, like this can become an underplane right here. And see how I'm just, I'm getting away with just like piling on this like crazy cupcake volume of hair. Anyway, you should be able to have some fun with this stuff. And so long as you're showing volume and playing with the style of it, I think things will work out pretty good. Okay. Crazy hair. Okay, have some fun.